equal to cos 8. How it is cos 8? I'm sorry. It is only cos 4. The sine squared is sine 40. Cos 40 will come from there. And cos squared so it is only cos squared because cos 4 we have taken so this is cos squared it is 60 i'm sorry it is power 60 why try to understand this is now cos squared cos squared whole square is cos 4 and this is cos squared so cos 6. now cos squared i have taken common of cos 4 sorry cos 4 if i take common it will be cos squared plus sine squared and whole 1.2 into dt and that is nothing but 1 so cos square t and limits are 0 to x so now let me take this one so what we have to prove here we have to prove that this value is equal to t plus sin t cos t 3 by 2a is a coming a coming so it will give us 3a 0 to x it is cos square t okay now this is one here but cos square t plus sin square t is one so it is on the dt but how this x we have to remove so the limits are here 0 to x so x equal to a into okay no problem now this cos square t if it is 0 to pi by 2 then it will be integrated but let me put the value that with 3a if i put it as 1 plus cos 2t upon 2 dt here limits it is 0 to it may be t or x doesn't matter because here it is t only or it can be x here but because the parameter t is there so we will take them as t no problem now this is 3a by 2 integration is t plus sine 2t upon 2 that means 2 here now 0 to x if it's 0 to pi by 2 then it is 0 in both the cases so it will be okay but this is not there so it is 2 sine t cos t now 0 to x if i put only x at x the value is there not at 0 0 at 0 it is both 0 it is 3a by 2 now it is t only plus this is 2 sine t into cos t upon 2 2 to cancel out so if i put this is a common common angle here if it is t in place of x it is t here then it is in terms of t only it is nothing but 3 by 2 into a in bracket it is t into sine t into cos t the limit here 0 to t only is there it's not x but 0 to t common sense the limits here are in parameter in parameter form if we take the limit 0 to t is common to any point x y so any point x y t will be there 0 to t i have taken as a common sense so this is the value which we have calculated t plus sine t cos t 3 by 2 into a that is proved question is that is the general sense if i take from 0 a to any point x by that means we have to take it as t which is the parameter that is the answer here the same answer is obtained so question number two is uh, in general sense only that if there is just any common point x in this case it, it has been taken x so let me take it is t at that point and t zero at that point is t equal to t so from zero to t we have taken the limits so zero to t we took the limits here uh, or we have taken here zero to pi by two the limits are 0 to pi by 2 if i sorry 0 to t here this is question number 2 we have taken 0 to 2 here we have taken now here required length is 0 to pi by 2 
it has been taken. But when we changed cos square t, now this is question number two. So it is find the from any point zero a to any point x by is this much. So value has been proved. The limits are zero to x or zero to t or zero to pi by two. Nothing matter because if I put uh, pi by two, then that value will be changed. That will be zero in the second case. The first t will be pi by two. So that pi by two, the limit must not be there. And this is the common sense. Common point is zero to x or zero to t. We have taken. Okay, t here is because well, x is expressed in terms of t, the parameter. That that's why I have taken t here. Now question number three. Let me talk about. Now question number three, as I did tell you, that here x is a cos q t, and the y is a here is a sin q t. Now the same point. What kind of this curve is? As I trace, I I did trace in that question number one that this is this kind of curve here. But in in place of b, we have a only. All the points are a zero. This is zero a. This is a minus a zero. This is zero minus a. Why? Well, if I find out the equation, this is x upon a whole power two by two by three. Sorry, this is two by three here. Plus y upon a two by three equal to one. Now, in place of x and y, if I substitute these values, that then this is satisfied. It means here x equal to a sine sine a cos q t. This is a cos q t. Y is a sine q t. It will be sine square t plus cos square t equal to one. This equation is satisfied. This is the form of the Cartesian form of this equation. And then if I put y equal to zero, then x equal to a square or x equal to plus one say the curve will meet. The x-axis, this is x-axis here. This is the same. It it is having the same or similar shape here. Okay, the shape is similar, having same length. Now it's okay. This is y dash x. This is y, and this is x-axis, x dash x. Okay, so this is origin O. This is the shape of the curve of this in Cartesian form. I uh, converted this, so that is the. Form here. Okay, length we have calculated that this curve. Now length of this curve will be four times from zero to pi by two if I take. Okay. Limits zero to pi by two. At this point, t is zero here. Here t is equal to pi by two. This is pi by four. Here it is three pi by four. It is pi. In this way, in between, in between, and here it is three pi by two. Okay, at this point, so t we have to substitute zero to pi by two. Okay, so that that limit we have to take. But before that, let me take the solution of this. This I calculated in question number one. The same type of the same type of question is this. Okay, this is also same type of question. All right, so let me now find out the SDD differentiate. This is the first one. This is second one. I'm differentiating first and second with respect to t here, the parameter. So we get dx dt is equal to this is minus three a into cos square t into sine t and d by dt from second equation. Is 3a into sine square t into cos t. This is 3a into sine square t into cos t. Get the value. Now substituting these values, so therefore, dx dt whole square plus d by dt whole square will give us again the square of all these. This is 9a square. Cos 4t sine square t plus this is 9a square sine 4t cos square t. We can take 9a square common or uh, and sine square t cos square t also common sine square t and cos square t common. If I take sine square t and cos square t common, 
out of this whole. So we will get here cos square t left over. But from this it is sin square t. Okay, now square root of this whole. Therefore, and this is one here. This is this is one. It is nothing but nine a square into sine square t into cos square t into one. Okay, therefore, length of the arc in this case. We have t equal to zero to five by two. So length of the arc. Length of the arc. Whole arc. It is whole arc here. Whole arc. All the whole curve will give us s equal to four times zero to pi by two. I've taken only one length. This is zero to pi by four. Sorry, pi by two. Zero to pi by two limit is now four times of this one. So that will give us total four r c m. Okay. So now the square root of this. It is the square root of. Let me write first the formula. D x d t whole square plus d by d t whole square whole d t. Okay. Now this is. Now this has given us this value. So it will give us four into. Now square root of this whole will give us as zero to pi by two. It will be three a three a sine t into cos t into d t. Simple. So this is nothing but twelve a taken outside three a taken outside is zero to pi by two. This is zero to pi by two into sine t into cos t into d t. Now what is the answer of this? I mean by let me take by gamma function. So in case of gamma function, we know that what is sine m t cos n t d t zero to pi by two limits will give us twelve a into this is power one. So it will be gamma one plus one upon two. Gamma one plus one upon two. Why? Because powers of sine and cos both are one one. One plus one upon two. One plus one upon two divided by twice gamma. One plus one plus two upon two. This is we find out. This is twelve a. This is gamma one. Gamma one, which are one one. Two into gamma. Four upon two means gamma two. It is nothing but twelve a upon two into one into one upon one. Why one? Because it's gamma gamma two is factorial one. Factorial one is one. In the denominator, so we have one. This is six a only. This answer is six a. Length of all the four arcs is six a. Question number three. We have done. Okay, so now this is question number three. Let me now talk about question number four. Fourth question is. Let me now check it. What kind of that question is? So question number four. Let me now discuss about. Okay, now question number four. It says, show that eight a is the length of the arc of the cycloid, equation for which are this and this. Okay, equation for which are cycloid is x equal to a into t plus it is sine t, and y is equal to a into one minus cos t. Okay, so this we have to just find out that what kind of this this cycloid is. Now this cycloid is the cycloid equations of which are x equal to a into t sine t, right? Now okay, this is question number four, and uh, so total length of this will be show that the a t is the length of the arc. Okay, and uh, to prove what we have to prove here. The length of this arc, length of the whole arc, the length of the length of an arc, length of an arc of the cycloid 
equations of the charge this and this is 8a. So S equal to 8a, we have to find out. Now this cycloid, okay, this is the cycloid here. So again, we have to find out dx upon dt, dy upon dt, and this is equation number one. Let me take this is equation number second. Now solution. So first of all, we have to just find dx dt and d by dt. Okay. So dx dt and d by dt is the point here. Now total cycloid here is this is cycloid here. So limits of this cycloid will be from 0 to 2 pi. Why? Because whole cycloid is in the given curve. Okay, so that cycloid will have the limits of the cycloid will be let me write here limits for the arc of the cycloid will be t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi we have to take the limits here or as 0 to 2 pi we have to take the limits here all right how how we have to find out this limits here because if i put x equal to 0 or here y equal to 0 let me take so cos t equal to 1 because as i put y equal to 0 if y equal to 0 then cos t is equal to 1 okay and cos t is 1 for 0 or 2 pi and uh, t equal to there for 0 or 2 pi so limits are here 0 to 2 pi so here t will be taken as 0 to 2 pi okay the limits for the arc of the cyclone will be t equal to 0 to 2 pi y if i put y 0 in this case but y 0 on the axis of uh, initial line we may say or let me take this is axis of x y 0 so if i put y 0 then what is t the limit of what t will be 0 to 2 pi because cos t is 1 for either cos 0 equal to cos 2 pi or cos 2 pi cos 2 pi is positive 2 plus 2 so 0 to 2 pi are the limits for this you can now let me find d, dx d, dt so differentiating differentiating let me find first and second with respect to t so we get what do we get here this dx dt is equal to first one this is a into one plus cos t okay this is equation number let me take third one and d by dt from second equation is a is sorry equal to a into one constant zero minus cos t is minus sin t but minus sin is there so it is plus sin t it is nothing but a sin t positive and now okay so therefore the squaring therefore dx dt whole square plus d by dt whole square is square root of this whole will give us this is the square root of this whole so the square of this this is a square into 1 plus cos t whole square plus this is a square sin square t a square sin square t all right therefore length of the arc length of the arc of the curve equal to 0 to 2 pi limits we will substitute 0 to 2 pi under the square root it's dx dt whole square plus d by dt whole square into dt okay so that will give us let me write it here 
that will give us s equal to 0 to 2 pi these two values which is this much so from this a square is throughout com let me take a outside it is nothing but 1 plus cos square t plus 2 cos t plus sin square t because a i have taken common whole 1 upon 2 into dt this is square root t this is sin square t now cos square t plus sin square t is 1 okay so that will give us let me further solve it further resolving it this will give us a into 0 to 2 pi okay so this is nothing but twice plus 2 because cos square t plus sin square t is 1 so this is uh, 1 plus 1 or if I write it in systematic manner then let me write it it is 1 plus sin square t plus cos square t in bracket plus cos t and this is whole it 1.2 power into dt now this is a 0 to 2 pi this is 1 plus 1 this is 1 plus 1 plus 2 cos t 1.3 into dt it will give us a into 0 to 2 pi this is 2 so under root 2 we will take outside it will come out as square root 2 we got 2 plus 2 in the bracket it is 1 plus cos t only whole 1.2 into dt 2 are taken outside now 1 plus cos t is what is 0 to 2 pi this is under root 2 a and root 2 are taken outside now this is 1 plus cos t that is 2 cos square t 2 cos square 1.2 t this is 2 cos square 1.2 t okay because this is 1 plus cos 2 t cos 2 t if it is then it is 2 cos square t if it is 1 plus cos t only then angle will be half it is 2 cos square t whole 1.2 into dt what is this now here we have to take it as 2 again outside it will come out as 2 here under root 2 will come out again so it is twice a 0 to 2 pi now this is nothing but cos 1.2 t into dt now if i put uh, i mean differentiate it in the same way it will give us let me not to put anything for the difference sorry integrate it and then put the limit directly it is twice a now it will be integrated with this sine 1.2 t upon 1.2 0 to 2 pi nothing else okay limit 0 to 2 pi it is coming all right so this is 4 a now it is sine 1.2 t 0 to 2 pi but it is 0 in both the case i'm sorry the so limits i think with the question here question by so that the 8 a is the length of the arc of an arc of the cycloid equations of which are this now this is cycloid here the limits are something else why because total length is this so of an arc is are the limits something different okay now let me think about this x equal to a into t plus sine t okay and t plus sine t here that will give us Okay, so that point was here. There was a mistake here, I think. What that mistake? 
Here it was. What is the question number four? Okay, I'm sorry, this is minus sign t minus sign t, I'm sorry. So this is minus t, I'm sorry. This is only the point which has created the problem. Okay. Now let me further solve it. It is, I'm sorry, a into t minus sign t. Question number. It says x equal to a into bracket t minus sin t, but i took t plus sin t. That has created the problem. That's right. It will be then here minus 2t. It is minus 2t then. All right. That is the point. Why? Because differentiation of this will be dx dt will be 1 minus cos t. That 1 minus cos t is to be whole square. That whole square is this 1 plus cos square t minus 2 cos t. Plus this is okay because it was a sin t a sin t squared as a squared we have taken outside so this is sin squared t now it is okay. Further let me solve this 0 to 2 pi. I'm sorry. The point I this only one sign has changed the answer. So this is 0 to 2 pi. Now this is 1 plus 1 to 2 minus 2 cos t here. This is half power dt. <coughs> or under root 2 has come out 0 to 2 pi. Now 1 minus cos t is integrated as 2 sin square 1.2t 4 power 1.2 into dt. Now under root 2 again this 2 out of the square root has again come. This is twice a only 0 to 2 pi. Now sin square t is changed as sin 1.2 1.2 into t into dt. So integration of sin t is twice a sin t is integral minus cos 1.2t upon 1.2 limits 0 to 2 pi. Okay. It is nothing but 4a because this 1.2 will come out in this one. 1 minus cos t is 2 cos 2 sin square t. Alright. Now this is minus cos 2t. Now it is to be put as limits. First limit is 2 pi. So it is okay. It is cos minus cos 1.2 into 2 pi. That means pi cos pi minus plus here cos 0. And cos pi is minus 1. It is 4a into minus 1 into minus sign. This is plus 1 plus 1 cos 0 is 1 and cos pi is minus 1. So minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1. It is nothing but 2 into 4a that means 8a. Hence it is proved. So answer is sorry for this is 8a. So that the 8a is the length of the arc. This is the final answer. Hence proved. 8a is the answer and it's proved 8 is the length of the arc of this curve which we have proved that this is the same answer all right only one mistake of minus sign i put it as plus sign but it is minus sign in case of x equal to a into t sin t t minus sin t now question number five let me talk about What does question number 5 say? Now this is Question number 5 says Find the length of the length of one of quadrants of the curve This Alright Again here We have to take Putting x equal to a cos qt x equal to a cos qt and y equal to a sin sorry b sin qt and one of the quadrants we have to put the limits so only one of the arc length of one of the arc of this we have to calculate all right let me 
solve question number five. This is find the length of the quadrants. One of the quadrants it says find the length of one of quadrants of the curve. This the curve is f upon a whole power two by three plus y upon b whole power two by three is equal to one. So putting here s equal to a cos q t and y equal to b sin q t. Okay, so now this equation is proved. It means these are the parametric form of this equation. Now we know that what is the curve here that I traced in the first question, first one. Yeah, this is the curve here because if I put y equal to zero, then it will give us zero and minus sorry plus b, and this is zero minus b, and this is a zero. And this is minus a zero x o x axis, and this is y y dash axis. Okay. And if I take a, this is a dash point, this is b, and b dash point. Now here t equal to zero. If I take t zero, here t is pi by four in between. This is t equal to pi by two. So from zero to pi by two, if I find this limit, I mean this length of one quadrant length of one quadrant is this quadrant only. It is simply we took the limit zero to pi by two. We have not to multiply this by four, otherwise total whole length of the curve will be calculated by multiply by four. So it is not to multiply by four just to calculate this length only. Limit we will put t equal to zero to pi by two, and these are the parametric form here. So finding d f d t solution here. Solution differentiating the parametric equations, parametric equations of the curve. This of the curve first parametric forms are these second and this is third one. So second and third is third. Differentiate find d g f d t. Finding dx dt, so dx dt, dx dt is equal to. Let me write here. This is dx upon dt is equal to this differentiation. This is minus sine. It is 3a into cos square t into sine t. Cos t is different.